I can't understand how you wouldn't want to do VMS at this point, uh, to be honest with you. You know, a way that the cows can produce it and produce it easily, and, and this is the answer. My name is Greg Archbold. Uh, the name of the farm is Hill Peak Farms Limited. For seventh generation, my children will be eighth generation farm for 213 years now. And uh, we're located in Milmuskodobit, Nova Scotia. In our old barn, we were four by four auto flow. In the previous parlor, we were only two X, making 35, 36 liters a day. And we knew to take another step, we were gonna have to move to at least three times a day milking. And uh, that's when we really noticed the challenges with where's that labor gonna come from. We saw the robots, it was a pretty easy choice to be honest with you, so. We just happened to move in with like 130 cows on two robots, so of course it seems at that time busy. And ironically, over that next year, we were down to under 120, uh, producing more milk. It just was a matter of getting the system set up and everybody learning. So we've been everywhere from 2.9 to 3.1 in the last uh, year. That's certainly one thing we picked up on. Uh, fresh cows are the ones that really benefit from the system. We probably had about a dozen cows doing four and a half times a day, uh, giving 70, 75 liters plus even some in the 80s. And that's why I like the guided. Uh, was probably the biggest selling point for us was it's going to help sort through the day. And we've always been able to attain 100 kgs plus per robot uh, with highs around 120 um, kgs per day. I definitely see a huge opportunity in extended cow life more lactations. I don't even know how you put a dollar value on all the economics of it, but it'd be thousands per, per animal for sure. The ability for the 300 to find teats or placement on the udder, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, it will do more. The, just the increased milk and the increased efficiency and uh, with that camera brains and, and the attachment time and uh, yeah, the rest is history. We were really glad we made the decision. I can't understand how you wouldn't want to do VMS at this point, uh, to be honest with you. Um, the efficiency, the cow comforts, the lack of labor that's out there now. The average farm size in, in this province, I, I definitely think it's, a, it's something to look at and a place to go. So I, I would definitely recommend VMS to anyone uh, interested in looking, for sure. For me, VMS My Way is the direction of finding increased opportunity for milk production per cow. It's always finding another way to get that next kg of production out of that cow and, and do it in a way that's both good for the cow and good for the farmer. Um, we put them in for that reason and that's where we continue to go with it. And I think the sky's the limit with, with where that will go. So that was, that was our reason for, for choosing them and that's the direction we want to have with it. So.